All right, how are you doing today? Today we're taking a look at using the Logic Pro 11 session players with Band in the Box. And before we begin, please do subscribe to my channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog that you can check out. I've got a Logic Pro 11 playlist and a bunch of other music production stuff, tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff, free VST plugins, lots of stuff. Anyways, check that out. Let's get into this. So what we've got going on here is I went into Band in the Box. Uh, there is a plugin, but I like using the standalone version. And I just created a basic chord chart. I think these are the four cards that are like in every song possible <laughs> or every, all those pop songs, but whatever. Uh, just pick something that's simple for this experiment and just picked a bunch of different styles. And then I just bounced them down to audio tracks, rendering and an Apple loop format, if you will. And then I created the chord chart here in Logic. Where is it? There it is. Um, just a simple chord chart. And then for the end, did some editing here for the drums and other thing with the session players. So I basically came up with this originally. This is the singer songwriter from, this is from Band in a Box, the guitars and the tambourine here. And then I added in the drums and the bass. Uh, kind of sounds like Band in the Box, actually, uh, with the bass and everything. But you have more control over the bass parts this way and the drums and such like that. And there's a piano here, too. I should throw that on there. And then I tried out some different styles. And you could blend the styles, too, if you want. Let's go over to uh, the drums here. And then we have this Dozen Delight. And then we have another version down here where you use a different drummer and a different drum kit to give it some different flavor because obviously you can change this. You don't have to use those drums and chances are you will do something different if you're doing this. So on and so forth. For this one, I believe I took the drum part here and synced it up to the guitar. You just have to kind of experiment around. Yeah, I, I uh, had it follow that guitar part. You could do it without as well. Just try that. You know, tweak it to find something you like, you're cool with. I think I, did I sync the bass up to anything? No, the bass is just playing its own thing, not synced to anything. And of course, you know, you could sync it to the drummer, have all kind of fun, and then you can mix and match. Uh, this is a different track here. And by the way, I also have the original bass. This is what Band in the Box created originally, all the tracks. So you could mix and match stuff. You could use, you know, the drummer or the guitars here, maybe that piano, and then add in your Logic Session players. So it works pretty well together. A nice complimentary thing. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. And of course, if you want to find some solos, guitar solos, sax solos, you just have to go into Band in a Box and find some styles that have that in there and you're good to go. You could mix up some uh, guitar solos, sax solos, whatever else they got in here. And you know, yeah, I don't know. Just experimenting today with this. Let me know what you think. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.